Greetings, everybody. This is Sabin Dimitrov, aka Against for the Astro Wolf, and it is a pleasure to have you guys here for my next video. So, I'm gonna be doing some really weird stuff. And this is gonna be stuff that you guys are gonna be like, whoa, that's a massive change in what he usually does. So, um, here's the deal. I am going to be taking Vega's leadership and throwing it all into Orochi. He's going to be more than 1.2 million power. He's going to be like 1.3 million, 1.4. And that, mean, uh, that means he's going to be absolutely massive. He's going to be just ridiculously huge. Then I'm going to be taking Vega's uh, equipment and throwing that onto Hancock. Because uh, we ran a couple interesting um, simulations. You guys see that? That is me running Vega's gear on Hancock with that with that uh, sword skill. On him. So all I just need to do is get sword skill level 1. And that's going to make uh, Hancock all the more effective. See guys? This will mess up a lot of people. My gosh, that, that's just murderous. Yeah, so, uh... Whoops! Sorry, dude. Uh... Uh, let me get Hancock back on there. And then we can, uh, quickly so do. Uh, ten. 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 And ten. Override. Confirm. Do that. Get this. Sword skill. Should be... Oh, they moved it. There. Are, sword skill. And load. Yep. Ha 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 ha, period. My apologies. <laughs> LOL. Whoa, okay. So apparently this doesn't work. Huh, that's interesting. So it, it won't work for all things, but it's definitely, definitely an interesting thing to look at. <laughs> but yeah, so um, then so I need well, I need to get sword skill on uh, Hancock as quickly as possible, because that will help him be more effective, and he can actually hit pretty freaking hard. And that will possibly allow him to really do some good damage. And so the reason why why sword skill, I want to show you guys this. That hurts.
I have butt lumps. Ah, here we are. 100% chance to trigger before action. If the attack hits the target, deals damage to the enemy tile with the highest population by 1% of the attack damage. So, getting this to level 30 means I will be able to do 30% uh, amount of damage to that. Now, as far as I know, Hancock does not... Hancock would need to run... What I'm tempted to actually try to do, guys, is, you know, we can actually try maybe this. And run that. But run... Uh, 18 of these. 18. Eighteen. Whoa, I said, boy, I said eighteen. You turd waffle. You butt lump. You spoogie berry. You schmangle pickle. Ah, turds. Do 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 do. Eighteen. And then twenty-four. No, I don't want those. There we go. 24. Oop, 24. Save. Confirm. There we go. Do that. And then immediately... Oh, no, hold on. That turds. Put the uh, power of airships on you. And then try that out. Yeah. So uh, I don't think we can actually do anything for that. I need a ride to send again. All right, sure I got you. Oh, turds. Sure I got you. Uh, e er eh er e. There we go. Call active to center if you need it. Moo. There we go. So, uh, sorry guys, I was, uh, I was helping him out, trying to run some ideas. So long story short, um, Hancock can, can be run with both, uh, uh, Steam Cannon or, you're welcome, both Steam, um, Steam Cannon or the other one, or, uh, uh, Sword Skill. So that means we can actually have him be re effective. So he can either uh, SWE enemies easily, he can mess up enemies with Steam Cannon, or uh, he can uh, run Sword Skill and hit people by surprise and uh, really kick their pickles in. And then Orochi will have just an insane amount of leadership and pretty much be ridiculously hard to get. And then Sister Wolf will also have Steam Cannon as well as her other skills and abilities. And uh, that means she's going to be, be able to hit hard and mess with the enemy as well. And if that is the case, I can actually put Roger's uh, celebrity star. Actually, no. Oh, actually. So I could probably put uh, either Pioneer or Celebrity Star on Sister Wolf. And then, yeah, just do that. But uh, yeah, so here's the list I have. Transfer leadership from Vega to Orochi. Get Ambition's chest piece with all four sl gem slots unlocked. Because that will allow uh, Orochi to survive a little bit better. I don't have anything for uh, to unlock that yet. And I'm still trying to get that final slot on my Aldebaran's uh, unlocked. And once we get that, I will finally have Scorpio. Then run Vega's gear on Hancock, like I said. Put sword skill on Hancock. 
It only has to be up to level 10. That way you can jump back and forth between a uh, quick draw or the other one. Get both Aldebarans to level 45 ASAP. Get Beetlejuice and Lucky Naughton to level 50 ASAP. Get Lynx Gem set ASAP. Make a crap ton of hummingbirds and seagulls. Otherwise, I'm not gonna say crap. Meh. Whoopsies. Crap ton. There we go. So, uh, let's see what I'm trying to think. So, yeah, anyway, uh, trying to think. Um, sorry, guys. It's a, I'm a little tired. My brain's kind of trying to work over time. So, pretty much, long story short, is that, uh, I'm going to be losing one useful commander, but I'll be making another commander even more useful. I mean, he's already double his size because we took all the leadership from Rogers. So Rogers is not going to be useful and Vega is not going to be useful, but we're going to have a absolutely massive Orochi, a small but effective Sister Wolf and a small but effective Hancock. Now, Hancocks are, you have to be careful with those, because uh, you're going to want to hit the enemy as much as possible um, with their low-tier soldiers, because the low-tier soldiers have much less dodge than the high-tier soldiers, and you're going to want to have, you know, um, you know, as many hit skills as possible. So, like, I'm going to be using probably tier 11 walkers or tier 12 walkers. And. And the reason why I'm doing that is because these because these walkers turds can use um uh these bad boys can use um uh what do you call it the the stupid skill the uh can use walkers and and infantry. See you guys? Plane Walker or I agreed. I think technically we Prepare lost. So, 9, 10, 11, 12. Why are that stupid Plane Walker again? Ah, butt lumps. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. So I have plain walkers and they have I have greeds. So stupid. Stop being stupid. Prepare yourselves, ladies. So nine, so that's ten, that's eleven, so eleven eleven. So I mean it's not horrible, but we technically lost more than they did. But yeah, um, yeah, that's gonna that's gonna be able to allow us to really uh, do some nasty stuff. Like we, we'll be be able to do some really really nasty stuff with that. So I want to try to get Sister Wolf and Hancock both to both to twenty k, because that's really kind of the the they're, they're the max size they should be. And then Orochi is just gonna be a ungodly size of just unparalleled destruction and death. So, I can actually, you know, probably, um, you know, uh, take, uh, take this one, uh, Pioneer, you know, recycle it, shove all that stuff onto Orochi, get, you know, you know, Hancock's, you know, thing to, you know, oh gosh, uh, quite a large amount, and then get Sister Wolf. 
Um, you know, get Sister Wolves, you know, to a higher level too, because she's running, she's running longevity. That allows her attack and accuracy to be increased by 7.8% until the end of the battle. So the only one we would really ever need to use is this one because, uh... Yeah. I mean, yeah, like, Counter-Striker would not work. Celebrity Star would, would probably be the best. But, uh, yeah, so we could probably get, you know, um... Uh, the AI one, all the way to like level seventy or something like that. Just a insane level. That's going going to be really good for us in Galactic campaign, and a good way for us to fight in um, fight on the server is that a lot of Zumi is one of our is that one of our enemies. He's in Zoo, and he runs absolutely massive marches. Just abomination marches and uh if i can get my uh my orochi to almost 14 uh, 1.4 million leadership that means i can stack uh as much one as tier tier one and two airships seagulls or hummingbirds into the slots so every time he hits me that will be doing damage to him and our ability to heal will outdo his ability to hurt us. And since we will be having our AI-1 to a much higher level, that means we're going to be able to do just, do just you know, just ream the enemy. Just ream them. Makes me sad, though, because I worked so hard on Vega. I think once we get Orochi to max level, then we can work on getting uh, Vega back to a workable state. But... You want to try to get, you know, Orochi to 1.4 million first, and then get the other commanders rounded out, and then start adding leadership back into Vega. So, it may be a little bit while, little while until we see Vega back up and running, but we do have him set up for, for success, and I'm very happy about that. Um, like it is, guys, uh, I don't know how well these stupid Galactic campaign things are going to, going to work. And I honestly, you know, I never really ever go in a Galactic campaign much anymore because, you know, I never get the chance to because they're always at such an awful time. So, I mean, yeah, my, my Orochi will be a kind of a scary sight to see for a lot of enemies because I'll be that big. But, you know, everywhere else, like set, like uh, the, the Kasatani event, like I told you guys about, and, you know, server side and other things like that, he'll be ready to go and really just wreck the enemy. So I'm very excited about that. And, you know, our skills, our airship skills and everything, you know, that's going to be huge. And, you know, I can start doing research, you know, into that. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's going to be huge. And I can use power of airships with uh, Hancock if I wanted to. And, uh, yeah, there's just going to be a whole bunch of really cool stuff that we can use. And, uh, you know, what, what, what I'm thinking about maybe is, uh, stop asking, my <clears throat> getting barrier leveled up too. When dealing damage, same column allies gain barrier, causing them to take 12% less damage for one round. That's pretty darn nice. That's actually really nice. So, uh, yeah, um, that could possibly allow us to, uh, to take a couple, that, that's pretty much total damage reduction for one round. When dealing damage, same column allies gain barrier. So I could just, just I, I could literally just run all, um, so... Because I have barrier on my uh, origins, we already have like 6% less damage done to us for the first round. So, yeah, barrier is pretty much one round of total damage reduction, which is actually kind of nice. So, yeah, I might, might, be, might be looking into that. But the power of airships is pretty darn nice. And, you know, I'm going to still be using that as well. Because, uh, 
you know, that'll make it so that way our smaller people can hit harder. Yeah, so barrier. Barrier might actually be a good way to go about things. But once I get Scorpio, guys, uh, Scorpio might be a good way to go because, uh, you know, yeah, because that means that Orochi will have a guaranteed hit ability, and we can, you know, jumble all the stuff around, use it accordingly, and, you know, that's going to be pretty freaking epic. So, I want to maybe, you know, try that out. Um... What is the max leadership a commander can be? Question mark. I actually kind of forgot that, so I feel kind of silly. I think it's 1.6, which is already just insane. Actually, if I check. So. Yeah, so. I think 1.6. Yeah, there we go, yeah. 1.6. That means we will actually have Orochi most of the way there. You'd only have to go up 200k more. And that's, you know... That's really freaking good. Okay, Google. 643,961 plus... Are you frick? Sorry, I don't know how to help with that. Here are other things you can try. Uh, you, you're stupid. You are stupid. You're a big fat load of stupid. Oh, actually, I have a calculator on my tablet. So you piss off. Okay, Google. Never mind. Ah, never mind. Stupid. It's being, being a poop face. Being a big fat load of poopies. So 681,000, 681,000, 526, 526, plus 643,000, 643,000, 961, nine, oopsies, 961. So yeah, I will be at one point three. So I'd be at one million three hundred twenty-five thousand four hundred eighty-seven. That means we can go. We, I, would, I only have to do two hundred and fifty thousand more, really, to get that. Makes sense. Period. I gotcha. And with the combat AI, as well, being just you know. At a crazy high level, that means we can get a quite a substantial amount up. So, yeah, we would already be, you know, oh gosh, maybe almost like maybe, uh, I mean, with our AI, we could probably be at like, oh gee, um, that's probably the same number, but yeah, that's that's huge, that's really, really huge. I did the math, and if I add everything together and upgrade my AI, comma, there's a possibility I'll be at 1.4 million. Orochi is going to be absolutely massive. So, uh, yeah, that is insane. That is ridiculously insane. And since I don't, well, I won't have enough to run all six slots packed with t with tier twelve. I could probably try running, you know, uh, front slots with tier twelve and back slots with tier two. And what that will do is that the back slots will be able to give me a secondary round of healing, and all six slots can benefit from that. So yeah. That would actually be be pretty darn good too. And 
Uh, tier 1 airships are very cheap and easy to heal. And even tier 2 airships are kind of, you know, cheap to heal. So, yeah, we have some really cool stuff underway, guys. And I'm super excited about that. So, uh, yeah. I'm super excited, period. Orochi is going to be massive. And I can finally give Zumi a run for his money. Zumi. 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 I was still I, I I still laugh that somehow D's nuts was able to join our team and he was part of like a different team too and it's just like yay welcome to the team buddy and it's funny that he asked me but you know hey you know uh, God's given me a magnetic personality and you know apparently that you know that worked in our favor and now we have a strong member to our team so again welcome to the team D's nuts so dumb. Of course, period. That is why I will be using hummingbirds and seagulls. The corrosive armor will be doing the rest. I, I mean, Counter Striker would be a fun way to go about things, but the AI one is probably my is definitely my best bet. Counter Striker is super super cool, and uh, you know when you run like massive plasma builds with Counter Striker, you can have so many different ways to hurt the enemy and just wreck them. But it takes a lot to get to that point. So Counter Striker can be super effective if you run a pretty much run a bomb build. But yeah. Um, yeah, so I'm going to be doing a lot of moving stuff around. And unfortunately, I won't be able to do it for this troop event, which kind of sucks. I just, I don't want to spend the money for it. Because I don't have enough, uh, of these to get this. Because I'm not going to erase Vega. He is the best I, I have right now, and... You know, erasing him would be a very dumb move. So I need 18,000 of these to get uh, to get that. And apparently the game developers are like, yeah. I mean, my friend was like, yeah, you got 20,210 of these. But I don't want to spend $110 on that. But uh, yeah, so we might ha have to wait for a couple weeks so until I can get more more medals, and then I will show you guys the entire moving around process. Ooh, can I attack you? Darn it! Yay! We got more! Yay! So then, what we do is that they said tier eleven. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, tier eleven was a good way to go as well. Tier 11 walkers. So, yeah, we, we might want to try that as well. So, Tier 11 walkers, which is the plane walker. Because we want to set ourselves up for success. So, we hit one of those, and then we go over here, use that, get these. So, we got three of these, and there, there we go. My Orochi could probably eat him up. Oh well. But uh, yeah, guys, um, I'm gonna be be showing you guys the day when I do this. I've invested so much into my power of airships because it's such a cool ability. And you know, it's you know. And here's the thing: it doesn't have to, you know be all that in the bag of chips when it comes to uh, damage. But one of the things that, that made my Vega so amazing was that he had that shockwave and that power of airships. So, um... I'd... Uh, well, hey, comma. SM would still be nice.
I'm nervous, but I'm willing to make this change, period. Maybe one day I can bring Vega back up to power. It won't take too much more to bring Orochi to max level. So yeah, guys, um... Yeah, uh, this is going to be, be a little bit of a tough choice. I don't... Uh, I'm going to think about it for a little while. Um... Yeah, uh... Shoot. Yeah. Yeah. I can't wait to be 1.4 million leadership period. It's going to be amazing. <sighs> I'm nervous, guys. But, uh... This is going to be fun. You know, we're going to be making a mean, mean commander. And like I said, guys. Well, comma, I'm going to be able to get my AI1 to possibly level 75. So, yeah. Um, yeah, we're going to we're gonna have a beefy commander. Um... I don't know, it's just, uh, running, I don't want to spend the money to get it, period, it's a hundred dollars, <laughs> boy, sucks, sucks so much, because I really don't want to do it, but I got to, um, but yeah, overall, guys, uh, I think I'm just going to end the video here, but yeah, you guys are, can, can see some of the stuff that I'm trying to work on, the conversations I'm having with having with my peeps. You know, uh... Yeah, so I think this is about half, so 75... Okay, Google. 75 divided by 2. 75 divided by 2 is 37.5. So we would have a 37.5% front row boost for to our health point, like a shield uh, for our front row. So, yeah, that's going to be pretty darn nice. I'm not sure if my math is completely correct, just because of, like, I'm not sure how long, how much it would take to get it to level 75. But, yeah, I'm really excited about that. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, I'll finally be able to kind of clear out enemies and actually give us a chance in battles and such. And one of the things that makes Orochi so nice, guys, is that he works well with any level of soldier from tiers 1 all the way to 13. So, as soon, you know, and he can also run the, uh, run the Cyan shuttle better as well. So that's another big, big boost for him. And like I said, guys, it won't take very long for Orochi to get to max level. Because like I said, guys, we already have almost 50,000 magazines. <clears throat> we already have almost 50,000 magazines ready to go. And in those special troop boosting events, that goes about 11,000 per run. So... That would be about, you know, 55,000 leadership already added on top of that. So, yeah, uh, Orochi is going to, go, going, to, going to get some amazing, amazing, you know, leadership boosts in this. And I'm super excited about this. And, uh, yeah, I, I hope that this will make the enemy kind of be like, whoa, what the heck just happened? Uh, Adensfo just got huge. Uh, so, yeah, hopefully we can actually be a very valuable asset to our team. You know, already, you know, my Orochi was doing really good at 340,000 power, running, you know, a full run of 
tier 12 airships. But now, you know, soon he's going to, going to be running f like four, like 1,400 ships per slot. And, uh, yeah, that's going to be huge. And once I get links, uh, that's going to give them a secondary level of, you know, being able to be healed. And that's really freaking huge. Uh, here, I'll show you guys before I end the video. What do you want today? Uh, filter. I want, uh, links. So, links, uh, a five set of links will give you total resistance weaken effect, right? But, number five. Receive skill links radiance from the suit. After each action, airship resurrects 6% of missing units. So, that means, I think for the entire battle... I will be able to recover 6% of my missing units. And this is unaffected by Cephas Majesty and other skills that make it so that way you cannot recover health points. So any skill that says and makes it so that way you can't re uh, recover health points will actually be nullified by this. So even, even if... Uh, Menderbot and uh, the Cyan Shuttle's healing abilities don't work. We will have that. And I'm going to be, be, re be removing... Wow. I'm going to be removing Hercules... Um, uh, Hercules... Um, I'm going to be removing Hercules and Cephas to get Canes and Lynx in. Because we we have two uh, two five sets on there. Gee, what occurs? What the hell, the heck am I trying to do? So Hercules and Cephas two five sets, and we have almost one four set, and we have a three set because of that total damage reduction. So uh, yeah. Um, in five days, in four days, I'm going to be trying everything in my power to get that, that, to get that link set. They say it's much harder to get canes now instead of links because canes is in such a heavy, uh, demand. So this will hopefully work in my favor by God's wonderful grace. And hopefully we can get some really, really good stuff. I'm very excited about this. And, uh, yeah, by God's grace, we will be able to turn this into something amazing. And, uh, yeah, so I'm really excited for this. And I really hope that this will go well. Anyway, guys, uh, this has been Sabin Dimitrov, a.k.a. A Dance for the Arista Wolf. It has been an absolute pleasure having you guys here. Wish me luck and give me an encouragement, guys. You know, I'm trying my best to, you know, make the right choice. Um, and, uh, yeah, guys, just, you know, let me know what you guys think. Because I would love to, you know, hear what your guys' feedback is. This isn't finalized yet, but this is so far my plan. Because this will be able to help out our guild in all the different ways possible and um not every guild that we fight against not every guild that we fight against are going to be maxed level you know bruisers but there's going to be a lot of them out there and uh well i want to be able to give you give my team the best they can and like it is guys the end goal of this game is to get a max level commander max level stuff and Set yourself up for success. I'm already doing fantastic where I am where I am already, but I need to be careful. Work on one big giant mega mundo murder everything commander, and we're gonna be set. But I know this for sure, guys. I do know this for sure. If and when I put everything into Orochi, 
I'm going to get him to 1.4, 1.5 5 million liter ship. I'm going to try to stop him at 1.4 million. And then I'm going to, going to put the rest into Vega. So that way I can get him back to being effective. But, uh, yeah. Really happy about this. Um, like I said, I'm nervous, but, you know, we have a plan. The three things I re I want to work on, guys, is airships, base, base health points, barrier, and power airships. Yeah, that 12% damage reduction for one round is going to be huge. And I think I am running barrier currently on these bad boys. Yep, these guys have barrier and these guys have health points. These guys have the power of airships and the oop, and these guys have defense. And then last but not least, these guys have the walking nem nemesis and we're going to be having a thing called the weekend for right now. But uh, yeah, guys, it's easy to, to swap, you know, things around. You can make yourself as effective as possible. And uh, yeah, I do hope that eventually the game developers will have a thing where you can hit a single button on the screen and do like complete loadouts. So that way your soldiers and everything else can be swapped out immediately. Your equipment and stuff can be swapped out immediately. It's just like instant boom, you're there. But, uh, yeah, guys, uh, just thank you very much for just uh, being here for this video. I apologize that this video is kind of long and awkward, but like this, guys, you kind of see the stuff that I'm working on, and it's a little scary to me. I will admit, it's a little scary because I'm not entirely quite sure how this is going to go. But I know that, you know, I know that, you know, nothing can go, it cannot go worse. It can only get better the bigger that we make a Orochi. And like I said, guys, I have almost 200,000 hummingbirds, and I have 100,000 seagulls, like I said, plus four, which is huge. My goodness, somebody made the police officers angry. My gosh, this is like here sirens going crazy outside my window. And where the hell were you going, Robo? All right, so. For Vega? He, I mean, we almost have enough for that. Yeah, so as you guys can see, we won't have enough to run a full set of um, airships for a maxed out Orochi. So, that's going to be a little bit of a problem. But, um, we are going to gonna continue to, uh, to get these leveled up. And, uh, yeah. Ah, uh, turds, I missed it. Uh, but yeah, so, um, wish me luck, guys. Give me any helpful input or insight if you guys have it. And just follow along and just... See where this goes, guys. We're going to possibly have some really cool stuff underway. And, you know, uh, by God's grace, we can turn this into something very effective. So just please stick with me, guys. You know, I know it's awkward, but, you know, with your guys' support and, and input, you know, we can, get, we can turn this into a very successful and effective channel. But anyway, guys, this has been Sabin Dimitrov, a.k.a. Dance for the Astro Wolf. It has been an absolute pleasure to have you guys here for this fun video. And I want to thank you guys for just being so, you know, so supportive and for being so awesome. And I want to thank you guys for, for you know, for, for, you know, helping make this channel special and fun. And I want to thank you guys for just, you know, for just, you know, following along with me for this long. It means a lot, guys.
and uh, I'm very excited for this, and, and I know that we can turn this into something amazing. So thank you guys for, for being so awesome. Thank you guys for being so supportive. Thank you guys for being patient with me. And, uh, well, I hope that we can turn this into something amazing. You guys stay awesome, and always remember, God bless.